already. So we are going to animate a bouncing ball in Maya using the sphere polygon object that we have here in Maya without really using any special rigged uh, sphere. It's just the one by default. So make sure you guys go to the polygon tab right here and then click on the sphere icon right there. You should see the sphere right there on the center of the coordinates, which is zero, zero, zero. So click on that one. Uh, you're gonna click on the F key on the keyboard, so that frames it. And then uh, press the number five on the keyboard again, so you can see it with a shaded mode. So that is that is the sphere. Nothing really special about it. Now I'll go back to the four views here and start setting up the layout, which is pretty much just getting a roadmap. So I'm gonna go here to the curve tool and same as I would do it in classical animation, just try to see what the uh, idea, like how many bounces, what's gonna be the height of those bounces. And then also the uh, distance that the ball would be traveling along so something like that would be okay now i'm just gonna make sure that i can see that from my camera right here so you can just readjust the camera make sure that the uh beginning of the drop here the ball it's off the screen then it's gonna bounce once twice and then it's gonna go out of the screen again this is the easiest way to go since we are on the beginner tutorials. So make sure you, you also go here to the select camera and you can see on this side, you can see all the attributes. This is called the channel box in Maya. And just be more precise with those things. Uh, I'm just gonna zero these ones. And then this one would be like around 15. And then if you wanna manipulate these ones with the middle mouse button here on the viewport, you have to activate these little things up here. So click twice on that one and then that activates the uh, kind of like a pie. So you click on it twice and that would be actually the increments. So now you can middle mouse the values, which is pretty convenient and you can go easy on that. So I am looking at the ground right there. So it actually serves as, as a reference for the ball to bounce. And also that rotation, I don't need it. And then this one, I don't need it. Uh, okay, so I just do it again here and see what's going on. Yeah, we need to make sure that the uh, uh, clipping planes are also uh, working or set up properly here. And that would be you go to the select camera or you go to the straight to the camera attribute editor and make sure that this one right here, the near clip plane, you set it to one. Uh, if not, what happens is that the ball would be disappearing because it's too close to the camera. To go back to the channel box, click on the icon here at the right hand corner. You click on that once and that would take you back to the uh, compressed view right there. So what I'll do here, I'm just going to go to the, to the front viewport and start setting keyframes. What I want to have here, pretty much, I'll get my drawing tool here. Just a combination of uh, classical animation and computer animation here. So the ball has to be there. We know that the ball has to be going somewhere here. And this would be all squashed. Then it's going to go up here, down there, again. Then up here. And then down there again, for the last time, it's gonna bounce right there and it's gonna squash. So this would be the main key poses. I'll leave that right now as it is. Now make sure that before you set any keyframes, you go into the